Full socks, uh, you know, yep. definitely a thermometer at home, and that's yep. something to continue to watch yep. as well. And then other precautions or preventive yeah. meth methods Absolutely. that you recommend for your patients. It's interesting that Corona, you know, it's both very infectious, and so you need to have your immune system be strong to deal with it. Um, we do a lot of genetic testing in our practice. And in our practice, we see that some people are very genetically predisposed to having this hyper-inflammatory response to the virus. And so we know that when we see that, that there are things that we can do to actually downregulate those genes. So we have a lot of our people taking something called special pro-resolving mediators. They're called SPMs. Uh, you can get these, uh, I believe you can get them on the internet now. Um, they're 250 times more potent than fish oil at resolving inflammation. And so it sort of keeps inflammation down. And then just from a, a purely sort of prophylactic standpoint, um, you know, there was talk originally that these viruses seem to crop up in areas of China that are low in selenium uh, in the soil. So we maintain adequate selenium levels by eating some Brazil nuts. Two Brazil two, nuts, yeah. 200 micrograms a day. Exactly. I, I'm yeah. pro Brazil nut. <laughs> yeah. So we like Brazil nuts, you know, three, four a week even is, is probably adequate for people. Um, <clears throat> and then the other thing we like is we like zinc. Um, and you can take uh, a lozenge, a zinc lozenge, um, like Zycam, do that even up to six times a day if you're traveling. Uh, vitamin C we like, 100,000 milligrams, maybe four times a day if you're traveling. 1,000 milligrams, mm -hmm. about four times a day while traveling. Exactly. Okay. Vitamin A is important, uh, about 5,000 milligrams a day, maybe not every day, but three, four times a week. Okay. You don't want to get too much vitamin A. And then we like vitamin D as well. Yes. So at least 5,000 units of vitamin D. Uh, we have a lot of people taking 10,000. There's a lot of genetic variation. In how so people vitamin respond. D3 with K2 though, right? We love we vitamin D3 with K2. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we do. We use that all the time. 10,000 and 200 micrograms. I will say vitamin yeah. D says deposit calcium. Vitamin K says wear. And that combination exactly. has been shown to also prevent calcifications yep. where we don't want them. Like in yeah, the heart. Like in the coronary arteries. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, we use that. We use that continuously. Yeah.